what's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel so uh what i'm gonna be showing you guys today is um how to do this twitch transition effect thing i'm pretty sure that's what it's called it's a transition that you can do a cute cut pro also i did not i did not make this transition um i got it from another person so um i'm gonna leave their channel link in the description because i can't really say their name it's hard to pronounce or something but yeah without further ado let's get started with the video okay so obviously the first step uh the first thing you want to do is uh get your clips that you're gonna do the transition on so get those next thing you want to do is go to the last frame of your first clip um and press this little eye just right there and uh basically this will save the image of the last frame onto your photo library next thing you want to do is uh get this app called pixart um you're gonna need this for the transition um it's free on the app store so yeah okay so the next thing you want to do is open the app press that plus button press edit get the image press on effects just right there press on blur then keep going until you find a uh, motion blur i'm pretty sure yeah and turn up the distance all the way up uh, move the scale to whatever way you want it to, um, but basically just put the distance all the way up. And then once you're done, um, you're going to press that arrow up there, press save private, save local, and then it's done. Then you just press that done button and then just go back to cute cut and uh, you want to add that uh, new image that you just edited. Double tap it to edit it, um, press this little wand thing that's uh, right over there, press the uh, plus sign. Add custom transition um, and then what you want to do is add another one and then go to this first hour right here and you want to like make it a tiny bit big um, and then move it all the way to the bottom left I guess then once you're done with that go to the second arrow move make it bigger and make this one to the top right next you want to do is go to the second transition here Go to the first arrow, double tap the image, and then it'll pop up this, and then go restore to default. And uh, then you're, then you go to this line thing right here. Go to, go to uh, press on circular out, and then you can go press that bug back button. Then uh, you want to make it like super short now, so um, you can just split it by using the scissors to make it shorter. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and do that. But anyways, guys, that is how do you do the Twitch trend transition effect things on QCup Pro. Um, QCup Pro actually recently uh, also made an app on Android, so you could also do this on Android. It's not just iOS. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, but yeah, guys, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. Um, if this video helped you out, drop a like. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.